Hello, everybody, and welcome to Los Angeles, California. Now, for the past week here, we've had 30 of the most powerful guys around, hauling and lifting and generally enduring the commerce world's strongest man. But it turns out that that was just the easy part, because next up, it's the final. Who's in it? Well, for a start, there's three Englishmen, the most we've ever had in the final. Eddie Hall, Lawrence Charley, and nine-time finalist Terry Holland. Fellas? But there's also three equally massive contenders from elsewhere. There's the man from the frozen north, Hapthor Bjornsson, six foot nine inches of Icelandic power. There's three-time world champion, Zadrona Saviskas, the one they called the strongest who ever lived. They may have a point. And, of course, the reigning world's strongest man, Big Brian Shaw. Doesn't look that big. Oh, I get it. With Brian, then, and 11 guys battling to take his title, this could be our best final ever. Since 1977, this contest has produced some eye-watering feats of strength as the world's most powerful men battle to lift this sport's ultimate prize. Now, nearly four decades after it all began, we return to the birthplace of this competition to see which of this year's contestants can make their mark on history. Well, the first test of strength comes from Venice Beach. It's the loading race. Soaking up the sun, Colin Bryce and first, Martin Haven. Thank you, James. Well, Venice Beach, the legendary home of LA Muscle Man. You're going to need plenty of muscle to shift these three tyres. 100 kilos, 15 and three quarter stone, and the going, best described as soft, it is on sand. That's just a brand new event, this discipline. And so everybody trying to work out how best to carry the tyres. And the orange Eddie Hall going down. Jerry Pritchett setting the fastest time in that heat with six of our 12 contenders already gone. Dave Ostland of the USA. 49.66 is the fastest so far. Ladies and gentlemen, please Into welcome... the second half of the group, Lawrence Charlet, Lawrence one of the three Charlet. British athletes in this field. 31-year-old, former finalist, England. Terry Holland. Holland. 34 years old, these two British giants head to head in this one might spur each other on. And Mike Berg had a great run through his qualifying heats. He could be a real contender here as well. Take your position. Colin Bryce, when you get thrown a new discipline, none of the guys will have trained with this. You watch what the first crash test dummies do and try and pick the best of the techniques. Well, Mike Berg just ripped that off the ground very fast. And, oh, Charlotte's gone off the end. Well, he was last in the first race in his heat, but that was only six competitors. If he's last out of 12, that is a mountain to climb. 39-year-old Mike Burke setting the pace here. Just didn't quite get it on cleanly the first time. And those few fractions may cost him in the long run. They may not, actually, because what he's done is he's kept it right up on top of the other tyre, left himself some room here. That's sensible. These platform races, you do have to be a little OCD. 41.85, that's a very fast run for Mike Burke. Looked like it all the way. Terry Hollands just about getting the tyre on, making a real meal of that. That was another 10 seconds. Hands off, Lawrence. Okay. Ryan Chalet just inside the minute mark, but our leader, Mike Burke, 41.85 seconds. Well, that is the leading time so far. Might be tough to beat. Terry Hollands looking at fourth place at the moment. Don't forget, still three men to go. But it is the big three in the competition. Lawrence Chalet might be in real trouble here. Mike Burke beat Terry Hollands in this kind of event, in the heats, the loading. He's so fast, and to beat Terry Hollands, you must be good. So this might stand up to the big three, of course, who Ladies are the podium from last year. Hathor Bjornsson, two metres five, six foot nine of him, weighs in at just 30 stone. Not just their reputations that are large. He was third last year, Zadrunas Zaviskas, big Z, he was in second spot. Bit of a lightweight, only 26 From stone 10 and 6 foot 3. The two and Brian Shaw, the reigning, reigning champion, 6 foot 8, 31 stone Brian and Shaw. change. And he will be working this crowd, if he can, onto his side. Position. 
Now, Colin, not only do they have to contend with these tyres, but the running on sand element here is also going to really sap the strength from the legs. Absolutely, but it probably helps to have massive boat feet like Sean Bjornsson, size 17, 18, on that soft sand. And look at this, the former basketball star from Iceland chewing up the ground. Well, USA's Mike Burke leading at the moment, but USA's Brian Shaw, the reigning champion in black there, closest to the camera, Colin, really struggling here. He's hanging out the back of the field. Absolutely, everyone had him as favourite, and Bjornsson, he's taken the win, and Z's done him too. Zavikas goes second, and Shaw doesn't even get third. That is not going to be as quick as Mike Burke's 41.85. That's a shock for the US crowd and the for the reigning the champion. From Iceland, Hapford, wow. So In Thor the takes the race. fastest On time. The Big Z, the the second media. quickest. Yes. The old man, life in him yet. And Brian Shaw, only fourth behind compatriot Mike Burke. That is a huge blow to the reigning champion. Every point is so key here. Bjornsson, he didn't even bother practicing earlier, didn't think about it, just grabbed it and went. He's such an animal. One event down, Terry Hollands is England's best place contender in seventh, but there's time yet for Charlie and Hall to get their challenges going. At the top, it's Bjornsson who reigns in the sunshine with Saviskas close behind. The spirit of the Vikings alive and well then as Thor attempts to emulate legends of the sport jump past Sigmundsson and Magnus for Magnussen. Can the latest Icelandic giant continue his hot streak? We'll find out as the final continues. Welcome back to the final of the Commerce World's Strongest Man. Well, up next is the overhead medley. The situation so far is that Hapthor Bjornsson has the early lead. Things not going too well for our English competitors. Uh, Terry Holland's a respectable seventh, but Lauren Charlie and Eddie Hall propping up the group. And up next, it is an event which is maybe going to test them because uh, Terry Holland's, he's sometimes a bit suspect overhead. Eddie Hall, though, has got some of the strongest shoulders in the business. He really does. Just take a look at him. He's massive across the chest and shoulders and so strong. I think he'll do very well here. All right. Now, one of the rules here, we've got 105 kilos of dumbbell and 163 of axle. Take the dumbbell from the floor to the shoulder, press it overhead to arm's length one time, set it down, do it again, move over to the axle and do the same with it. To the shoulders, arm's length one time and one more time. All right. And it's as simple as it sounds, is it? Yeah, for these guys, it surely is. For us, maybe not. All right, nice one. Thanks, Bill. Time to watch those overheads. Well, not for us, maybe, Bill, but for him, probably is. Assuming the leaders all get the full reps in, it will be decided on fastest time. Some of the others, though, getting all four reps is going to be the challenge. The maximum time mark is a minute. Martin Wildauer, currently tied for six, struggled, didn't get any reps in at all. Neither did the USA's dark horse, Jerry Bridget. Dave Ostland, no clean reps either, didn't get that elbow locked out. Overhead is always an issue. One rep for Terry Hollands, 52 seconds. It's going to be a real test of strength. Warwick Brandt of Australia, one of the wild cards through to the final. He got one rep as well. Three reps for Canada's strongest man, Jean-François Caron, puts him into the lead at the moment. Please welcome from England, Eddie Hall. Britain's strongest man lying at the foot of the points table after one event. I would be shocked if he is still down there after the entire contest. And Laurence Charlet is too much of a competitor to let that lie at 11th place as well. Colin Bryce, for both these men, this is a massive moment they must perform. Yeah, they both had a shocking first event. They need to do well there. Charlet gets it up, but he doesn't wait for the referee's down signal. So he wasn't given the first rep. Holes ahead here. Remember, two with each implement. Alain Charlet with one rep. Eddie Hall with one as well, taking his time a little more. Alain Charlet gets that one given, and they are neck and neck. Still more than 30 seconds to go. Don't forget, we have got nobody with four reps yet. 
Yeah, and I would say this is the harder of the two implements. 163 kilos, a slippy bar, and it's still neck and neck. And look at the size of that bar as well. You just can barely get your hand around it. That's why it's called an axle. Looks like it's off a, a cart or a railway wagon. Oh, and Hall struggles. He's not going to get a fourth. Charlet does. Was that a clean lift? He was given that. So the first man to get four, but Eddie Hall, that is a surprise. He looks a little shocked From himself. Lawrence Charley. You just wonder whether the heat has affected him. 57 seconds then for the four, or From the England, five for Charley. Eddie Hall. And Eddie Hall, three in 40 seconds. That's going to decide the minor placings. Lawrence Charley showing exactly what you've got to do. The crucial element here is getting the lifting elbow locked and, and waiting for the down signal. The Otherwise, America. it's not a complete Mike press. Burke. Mike Burke from the USA, third the place USA. in the tyre race. Brian Shaw. Brian Shaw trails his compatriot. Now, can the beast, the reigning champion, show Burke where to get off here? Lift. Well, not just compatriots, they live in the same town, they train in the same Don't. gym, they're just about best friends, they're right Pace now, they're closest Pace of enemies, Pace. almost the same pace here. Don't. Don't. So Shaw with two done in 15 seconds, and right behind him is Burke. These two Americans are going to show the rest of the world where to get off in this one. Spurring each other on, they'll be under 30 seconds. Both of them now. 30.5 for Burke. Well, of all men, Burke wouldn't mind being beaten by Brian Shaw. Shaw's helped him into the sport. He trains at his gym. He might be the older, but he looks up to this man. Four reps in 29 seconds. That is insane. That is Shaw really showing that he's not to be counted out. And I tell you what, Burke... Michael, I love you guys. He might be in his shadow a little. I think you underestimate him at your peril. Now the two Americans in third and fourth after the first event. This could bring them up to first and second. We'll have to wait and see. Ladies and gentlemen, well, two giants of the, the sport, Uranium. two Zadrunas literal giants Zadrunas. to come. Zadrunas Zaviskas, three-time World Strongest Man Let's champion, beaten into second place Hathor last year. Hathor Bjornsson, the leader, does not want to end up on the bottom step of the podium for second consecutive World Strongest Man. Ready, lift! But Boy, have they got a tough ask here. Brian Shaw and in his shadow, Mike Burke blazed through this. How's Bjornsson so quick? He's the tallest man, the longest arms, but he's done before Z there. Who can do this axle quicker? This guy's look at that, just blasted away. But he knows the pressure is on. 29 seconds, he's taken the lead. What about the Icelander? 28, they are first and second. They beat the Americans into third and fourth in this event as well. I just can't believe how strong Zaviskas is off his chest. from Iceland. And that axle, 25 and a half stone. He throws it up there like it weighs nothing. The overhead medley winner, Zadrunas Zaviskas. Astonishing. I mean, just the way he treats that weight, it's as if it was made of polystyrene. 163 kilos, unbelievable. Zadrunas, all four lifts in 26.42 seconds. You made that look easy. What was your plan going into this event? My plan was don't make mistake in, uh, in dumbbells because it's harder for me. And then a uh, very fast lift uh, axle. So it was everything by plan. You're now tied first with Thor. A few events ahead. How are you feeling for the rest of the final? Uh, everything going well. Thor have good events, me have good events, uh, we will fight, I think uh, this year very hard for, for first place. Well, mixed fortunes for the English athletes in that event. Terry Holland's way down in ninth, Hall surprisingly only managing three reps, but Lawrence Charlie at least will be pleased with his performance. At the top of the pile, Zadrunas Zaviskas, all four lifts in just 26.42 seconds.
and Big Z now moves into a share of the lead with Bjornsson, with Shaw and Burke four points behind. Hollands and Charlet are well positioned in joint fit, but Eddie Hall has some work to do if he's to make the top five. Next up for us, it's a real crowd favourite. It's back to Venice Beach for the cake toss, where our commentators Martin and Colin are ready for the action. Ready indeed, and there is a change to the keg toss this year. The bar has been raised. It's now at 4.9 metres, 16 feet. Eight kegs ranging from 17 to 24 kilos. 24 kilos just under four stone. And that's the equivalent of throwing them clear over the top of a double-decker bus. It is quite some height. So, good event so far for a couple of Englishmen. Terry Holland's six completed kegs over the bar. And Eddie Hall trying to rescue his competition. Bounces one off the back plate, but he gets six as well. Tied in second place. But the dark horse of the contest, perhaps Mike Burke. Eight kegs. He has the lead. 28.94, the salient detail here. Because we can expect our Giants to get eight over as well. Well, three athletes remaining, and no surprises if you guess that they are the reigning champion, the outgoing champion, and the man who was third on the podium last year. Brian Shaw tied for third place after the first two events with compatriot and training colleague Mike Burke. And Colin Bryce, he needs to match Burke here. He needs to get all eight. He's clearing a double-decker bus plus an extra story as he just rips through this. This is about speed. He doesn't doubt he's getting them over. This is outrageous. The last one. Oh, my goodness. 16.59 seconds. Surely that can't be beaten. That's ridiculous. He never looked back. Two in the air at one point there. He might as well be juggling with them. Again, the contempt that he shows for the weight is like Zaviskas with that axle. 16.59 from the USA. Easy. Brian Shaw. Big Daddy versus Giant Haystacks time again, isn't it? The crowd are on his side. Not done yet. Is he smarting from those earlier defeats? Yeah, I think it's really hurting him, and he's just pouring out emotion there after a brilliant performance, and he needed it. He really did. Brian, that was huge. Eight kegs tossed in 16.59 seconds. Have you ever done it that quick? No, I think last year I set the mark around 18 seconds on this, and, and uh, the setup was about the same. I trained, I actually ran through keg toss a couple times at home with a 17 foot wall, so this is 16. So I knew that I have a, I'd have a lot of clearance, like with the uh, height. So I just knew I had to do it quickly, and uh, you know, I needed, to, I needed to really put some big pressure on these next two guys. and. I don't think that that's beatable. Um, I'm going to throw that out there. Normally, I wouldn't say that, but that was that was really, really good. So I think the the next best time after me ever is something just under 20 seconds. So, you know, if they can, they they got a lot of work to do to beat that. That's all I'm going to say. Please welcome. Well, new Iceland. height, new fastest time. He has set a new world strongman record. The question is, will it last a year or just a few minutes? These guys are tossing Ready. these kegs like they are empty. I guarantee they are not. <laughs> Bjornsson, even quicker than Shaw at the start there, flicking these again without looking backwards. I tell you what, if I was in the crowd, I'd be taking a step back. Those are coming a long way over the top. Oh, he just clears it. Look at the time. 16.35, a quarter of a second faster. This is what we want. Gobsmacked. Shaw is gobsmacked. We all are. The new leader of the Kegs. Well, this is the best of the best, the greatest of the greatest. This is what we want to see more of all the way through. Well, if you hadn't have got that last keg perfectly, I mean, it just cleared the bar. And the time stops when it hits the sand. Now, look at this. Some of the earlier ones, a lot of power put into them. They went way too high, but the last one, just perfect. Oh. Fosbury flops over, but Ladies some of those landed in a different postcode. The three times world so, man, Everyone Zedruda. who comes out plays another trump card. Three time champion, <laughs> Professor Z. Zadrunas Zaviskas can't go quicker. 
can't go quicker. It's, we're almost getting to physically oh. impossible. It didn't go over. He missed the white one. He's got to do it again. Oh, his chances of winning this are absolutely over. He's got to keep his cool. Well, at worst, he'll probably end up in third, but, oh, will he? Hang on a minute, Burke's time, 28.94, now becomes relevant, because he might only end up in fourth. He is not going to be third. He is only going to end up in fourth. The joint leader, oh, my goodness. 28.94 was the time he needed to beat for third. Doesn't do it. In a time of 30.4. Stumbled twice Stumbled there. Let's hear it from well, Big Z's. Everyone, apparently, is human. Incredible drama in the keg toss. Brian Shaw's supposedly unbeatable time smashed by Bjornsson before Big Z almost takes his own head off with one of the barrels. In the end, it's the Icelander on top with an incredible time of 16.35 seconds. That means the big Viking is once again clear at the top, leading to Viscous by three points and Shaw by five at this early stage. Holland's the first of the British contenders, with Eddie Hall making good progress too, while Lawrence Charlie slips to ten. So, Bjornsson currently besting Big Z. Could we be witnessing the advent of a new period of Icelandic domination of this sport? Maybe the next event will provide the answers. The truck pull is up next on the Commerce World's Strongest Man. Welcome back, everyone, to World's Strongest Man. We're all still a little bit blown away by the incredible events down there on Venice Beach. The keg toss, Brian Shaw with a new world record. Hapsal Bjornsson coming in and smashing it, Bill Kazmaier. That was really an incredible feat of strength. Probably one of the best we've ever seen in World's Strongest Man. Well, it's moved him three points clear now in the uh, lead in the finals. He's ahead of Savickas, and you've got Brian Shaw five points off the top. Next up, the return of the Mac with the truck pull. Now, we saw this in the qualifiers. Competitors have to put the harness on and drag the rig down 25 metres. The only thing is there seem to be two trucks, Bill. Well, that was a quick one in the qualifier. They've doubled it up. We're going to see how strong these guys really are. 24 tonnes is now the total weight. That's another eight tons more than they had to pull in Sanya, China. But I'm thinking this is the limit of the possible. This is the evolution of strength. Bigger guys, heavier weights. It's just going to keep going. 24 tons towed down 25 meters in 60 seconds. Now, half a minute is going to be unachievable here. Getting a full pull Please is going to be very Robert tough Ray. indeed. Terry After three Holland. events, placed fifth, the best of our British contenders, Terry Holland, loves the truck pull, his favourite event. So far, Dave Austin has the lead, 50 seconds, Mike Burke, 53, and the others, well, you see, they struggled to break traction Ready. and to get these things rolling. Well, so much of getting the momentum going is leg and upper body strength, hauling on that rope, pushing with those leg muscles and Colin Bryce probably even the ears are straining here to move 24 tons yeah getting over that inertia at the start as well it's so tricky and Hollands has done a brilliant job of getting this moving he needs to get the momentum up and keep it moving though he can't tire here he has to try and finish as soon as possible, and I tell you what, 50 seconds is achievable. He is speeding up. Have they unattached the second truck? That's about as quickly as he went in the heats with one. That is ridiculous. 43-35. Wow. Now, once you've got it up and moving and you've got the momentum, it, it actually isn't that much harder than the first truck. It's the beginning here that is so brutal on the men. Well, I'm going to have to take your word for that. I wonder what Terry thinks. Terry, you're known to be one of the best truck pullers in history, but this is heavy. 24 tons, twice as much as the qualifying rounds, and eight tons heavier than last year's final. How did you find it? Um, the start is really, really tough. Once you get to around the 15 metre point, it's not so bad. The only trouble is by then you've lost a lot of energy. Yeah, 43.35 seconds. Where do you think that will stand before the top four? I would say probably Brian and four have got a good chance of beating it. Maybe Zadrunas as well. Hopefully it holds up. I need, to, need as many points as I can get. Let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome wow. from the United States. I tell you States what, America, all Brian sorts of Shaw. benchmarks are being wiped out in this year's World's Strongest Man. Brian Shaw, the defending champion, only lies in third place. Behind Satrunas, Saviskas, 
and Thorbjornsson. And again, as in the barrels, he needs the big result. And look at the muscles on that upper body working hard here to break the inertia. His best part of 200 kilograms. That's the, the size of two very big men. He's enormous, Brian Shaw. Massive arms, massive hands, and he's putting them to good use at the moment. And look at the speed of his feet. They are getting faster and faster. He is still powering this out. 43-35 from Terry Hollands. He was worried about what Brian Shaw could do, and rightly so. We are going to end up with a winning time in the 30s, are we? 40.56. <laughs> This is ridiculous. It's almost like there is no added weight at all. Six seconds. The new leader of the truck ball, Brian Shaw. Well, being just so big, it helps enormously with the start. Forget all of his muscle. Having that mass to lean against it helps get over the inertia. But then he's got the power to get it up to speed. But hey, we've still got Bjornsson. He's won the last few truck pulls. Mass Ladies moves mass, they well say. Well Brian Shaw, well 31 well stone. The Jenna Saviscus, slim line, not quite so big, Z. 26 stone, less than that nowadays. Let's see what he can achieve here. Take Second the in the competition, three points behind Thorbjornsson. Ready! Yeah, I don't mean to insult Z, of course. I wasn't writing him off. It's just that... Over the last four or five years, he just hasn't had a shout in the truck pool. Ten years ago, 15 years ago when he was in World's Strongest Man, this would have been his event guaranteed. But with bigger men like Bjornsson and Hollands and Shaw, he's always got this funny little step technique different from everybody else. I'm not sure it works. Pumping away with the feet. You can see the black marks that are being left on this parking lot surface by their grippy toes. That's how much strain is going in. They're having to reel in the rope really fast as he powers it to the line. He's not going to beat Shaw. Is he going to be in front of Terry Hollands? 43-35, he is not. So that was a really good run from Hollands. Third place currently for Zadrina Saviscus. Just outside of Hollands. Gave it absolutely everything. A near perfect pull for him. He had another 20 kilos body weight like Shaw. He may well be under the 40 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Iceland, Hafer Bjornsson does have that extra body mass. 30 odd stone of him. Plays mountain in Game of Thrones. Ready. This is where he needs that mountainous body weight. That huge power. He's almost standing up as he pulls it. It's almost like he's going to turn around and just tug it with one hand. He's daring it to defy him. Now, he's the absolute opposite of Zaviskas. 2011, he turned up to World's Strongest Man. He did this same thing. He's driving his hips forward, big monster steps. Everyone started chuckling, but then he won it. And he's won everyone ever since in the finals. So, he's definitely favourite here, and it's looking decent. 33 seconds, 34 seconds. It's not when he crosses the line. It's when the front bumper of the truck gets to the line. And he is not going to beat Brian Shaw. 42-1-2 leaves him in second place. Terry Hollands will be third, but Brian Shaw is the winner. Thor Bjornsson might have to look at technique. Brian Shaw taking the event then by almost two seconds from Bjornsson and a much-needed win for the reigning champion. And a fine performance from Terry Hollands maintains his excellent truck pool record. The Englishman has never been outside of the top three in this event. Overall then, Bjornsson still leads, but Shaw is now just four points behind and holds second place, one point ahead of Saviscus. Holland's performance in the truck ball has solidified his position in the top five, but Hall and Charlie are down in eighth. Still, Eddie will have a chance to make up ground in our next event, as coming up, it's one of his favourite challenges. Time to head to the Commerce Hotel for the squat lift. Well, this is intimidating just to look at. You've got to get as many reps in in your minute, 340 kilos, a mere 53 and a half stone. Eddie Hall, first time in a World's Strongest Man finals, in eighth place at the moment. 
Well, the leader so far, Jerry Pritchett, with a remarkable 11 reps. Warwick Brandt, Lawrence Charlet tied on eight in second position, ahead of the rest of the field. Now, for Eddie Hall, this might be simply the standout moment of his first World's Strongest Man finals. This is his real chance to shine against probably the three biggest men ever to take to the stage. Well, he did this event in the heats last year in China, and across all heats, he did more reps than anybody else. Nine. He's looking to do more than 11 here, though. Oh, he's been to a good rhythm already. Such strong legs, but you see the way they have to touch the metal on metal? You get that slightly wrong, and it can kick you one way or the other and put you off balance. Eight clean reps, and he's still going like a metronome. Nine, big breath, big effort. Ten, he's got a little bit of a wobble going. Eleven, this for the lead. Twelve, double tapping down. Form is starting to go as the muscles burn and the chest heaves. The 14, every single one he somehow forces his body into gives him a better chance of winning. 14 reps. Lightweight, he shouts. That was tremendous. Had a terrible start to this World's Strongest Man final, but there's redemption. That's the Eddie Hall that we know and we'll see more of in the future. He's still a relatively young man. Ladies and gentlemen, please oh, welcome... Perhaps on the opposite Syria. end of the age scale is Sadrina Sabiscus. Lies in third place. Five points cover the top three. They were all podium finishers last year. Sabiscus, three times world's strongest man, needs this as well, but he's got the balance wrong right from the first rep. Double tap. He's got to sort that out. Oh, look at this. Just look at the speed he's going at this at. Yeah, powerlifters call it getting in the groove. And once you're in that groove, perfectly up and down, now he can just apply the power. Now anybody who's ever lifted any weight of any kind in the gym knows that one arm is stronger than the other, one leg is stronger than the other, and you see that in his balance. His right side is definitely the stronger side. 12, that's 13. This to tie Eddie Hall for the lead, that's 14. This is 15. Now it's how many more he can do in the time. 15. Well, he's still flying at 14, then 15. I thought he could do 20 there. I'm, I'm actually quite surprised he stopped. Perhaps that was tactical. Did he feel something starting to tighten? He doesn't look as amped up as Eddie Hall was. Well, he is a former world champion. Two decades ago, this man was the best powerlifter in the world. He was loving it when he heard there was squat in the final. Not that shabby now, either. What about Brian Please Shaw? For the United States Definitely of not a favourite event for the American. The Brian champion Shaw. would prefer to be deadlifting. <laughs> what a support. Friends and family here enjoying the sunshine of Southern California. Well, it's definitely not a tall man's event, Sports. but a lot of people have been saying that Brian Shaw won't do well in this. And he's, it's got him angry. It's got him fired up. Sports. In his mind, his legs are as strong as anybody else's, so he wants to really prove something here. Now, height shouldn't be such a factor because those platforms that you're lowering to are adjusted to suit the height of the athlete. So you see, he's not quite getting the thighs parallel to the ground. That's a safety precaution there to really try and preserve those knees. Look at the way he's leaning forward, using his back much more than his legs to get down there. Whatever gets it done, gets it done, and, and that's all part of Strongman as well. This whole thing is mind over body, and you've got to have the mind to work the rules as well. He's up. Okay, so he's out at 10. Fourth place at the moment. That's still a great result. And it shows that Shaw's thighs, his quads, his leg power, no problem at all, though. I have to say, it was quite back-dominant at times there. Use what you got, and that's what Shaw is doing here. Ladies and gentlemen, you can't be the best at everything. Mind you, have said that before, watching Thor Bjornsson, and he has proved pretty much that actually occasionally you can be. Let's see if he can be the best at this as well.
But you know, there's Ready? one man Ready? who's won the World's Longest Man title. He's actually taller than this guy right here. Ted Van Den Paar was nearly seven foot. And you know what? He couldn't squat at all, not even 200 kilos. Luckily, it wasn't in the final that year. But this guy, he's got a personal best of over 400 kilos at six foot nine. It's, it's phenomenal. Look at the broad stance he's got, really spreading those feet out to try and shorten the leaves a little and add to the balance. Really broad shoulders, a massively wide grip. I'll tell you one other thing, he's not wearing a squat suit. It's a little bit of an amateur mistake. The suit definitely tightens in and compacts when you hit the bottom and fires you up. He obviously wants to do it on raw Viking power. Seven. The reps to beat, 15. Okay, help and he is out at seven. But well, just occasionally they make these weights look as if they're feathers. That is a really tough ask for anybody. There's his dad looking a little concerned. Yeah, dad head and shoulders above the crowd. Granddad's even taller, funny enough. But you know what? You're allowed to wear a squat suit. You should have worn one. It definitely aids you. It's, it's like trying to sprint in 100 Thank meters without spikes on. An incredible display from Saviskas and Hall there, with the Lithuanian able to squeeze out that all-important extra rep. Former powerlifter Jerry Pritchett keeps his compatriot Shaw out of the top three, but perhaps most significant is Bjornsson, all the way down in seventh. And that means overall just two points now separate Saviskas, Bjornsson and Shaw, each with a chance of taking this sport's ultimate prize. Burke looks safe in fourth, so there's a real battle on between Hollands and Hall for the final top five place. It's the first time in the competition's history that three men have had the chance to win the title in the final event. Coming up next to determine the 2014 World's Strongest Man, it's the Atlas Stones. Welcome back. Well, on a glorious afternoon then in Los Angeles, after a week that's seen records broken and personal limits bent all out of shape, we're down to that last event, and it's between three men. Big Z has the lead. He's one and a half points clear of Hapthor Bjornsson, with Brian Shaw a half point further behind. And the last event is, of course, the Atlas Stones. Five stone balls, five steel columns, 60 seconds to do them in. And by the time you get down here, well, the title of World's Strongest Man awaits for one person. Let's find out who. So often, strongman competitions come down to the stones, and now we have three men, each of whom really need to win this to take the title. The weights range from 20 the up to 29 stone. Brian Shaw! Brian Shaw lies in third place. The defending champion really needs to win this one. It is his favorite Mike event. Burke. He's up against fourth place Mike Burke. And Shaw's training partner also regards this as one of his best events. Terry Hollands and Eddie Hall had a great battle of the Brits for fifth place in the standings. Hollands came out 10 seconds in front. He's our current leader with a time of 28.47, which is very quick. Now watch our two contenders. On the left by Burke Hall, oh, and down goes the column. And Shaw, now he did not compete in the Atlas Stones in the heats. What's Mike Burke going to do? Is he going to get a second run? No, the referees have said carry on. They will count that first one. Shaw is tearing through these. 28-4-7. Terry Holland's time comfortably beaten. 23-9-4. And Mike Burke, he's going to be in fourth place off the podium in the overall counting. Well, Burke there just slammed into the top of the podium, completely mistimed it, as it were, and well, the referees are treating it as an equipment failure, said he could carry on if he wanted, or he can have another run, but he's, uh, he's happy with that time. Well, he knew that he was not going to get onto the World's Strongest Man podium. But he was not sure what to do here, Colin. Down goes that huge column. Yeah, he just totally got that one wrong, didn't he? Nearly dropped on his toes as well. Now he doesn't know what to do. He's looking for advice. Shaw carries on. So has Brian Shaw done enough to win? 23.94 is epically fast. Adrina Saviskas leads by a point and a half. Not his favourite event, though. King of Stones in the heats, the fastest man. 21.33 for Thor Bjornsson. He could be about to challenge Brian Shaw and take away the American's crown. Ready? 
It's going to come down to under 30 seconds to decide the world's strongest man. Off goes Bjornsson, and here Colin Bryce, his height is hugely influential. Yeah, under 30 seconds, maybe under 20 seconds, the way Bjornsson's moving, and that could get him the title. And I tell you what, Saviskas is not far behind, but Bjornsson tearing through these like they're Atlas pebbles. Look at the time, that's insane! 19.4 seconds, but here comes Saviskas, and he beats Brian Shaw second in the stones, and that is enough to win the contest outright. He is the world's strongest man, and Shaw is shell-shocked. The new world's strongest man by half a point. And by four tenths beating Brian Shaw, got him the point he needed to put that tiny margin between himself and Thor Bjornsson. But if he'd have run that three times, he'd have had three different results. But Big Z, he's done it again. At 38, he's still got it. Four times a champion. One of the greatest in history, for sure. So, Bjornsson, King of the Stones, and a fourth place for Holland means that he is guaranteed a top five finish. But the most important result of all is Zadruna Saviskas in second. The Lithuanian's effort enough to secure his fourth World's Strongest Man title. Zadruna, so bearing in mind the calibre of the competition nowadays, do you think this makes you the strongest ever? Uh, I think 2014 World's Strongest Man was strongest ever because... Uh, Brian Shaw is so strong athlete and Thor Bjorsson is unbelievable strong athlete and uh, first year where to last event all three athletes can be winners so it's never happened before. Well, will he be back to claim a fifth? Uh, maybe. <laughs> That's bad news for the rest of the field. In the end then, Hapthor Bjornsson came agonisingly close to the big prize, but that half a point margin, enough to ensure Big Z becomes the fourth man to take four titles, Brian Shaw having to settle for third. The 2014 Commerce World's Strongest Man from Lithuania, Zadruna Savickas. <laughs> to present the Commerce Cup to our champion, please welcome John Griffo, Director of Business Development for the Commerce Hotel and Casino. Let's hear it one more time. The 2014 Commerce World's Strongest Man from Lithuania, Sandrina Saviskas. What a finale that was, but in the end it's Saviskas by the narrowest of whiskers. Hapthor still banging on the door and you wonder, how long can they keep him out for? That brings to an end, though, the 2014 Commerce World's Strongest Man. It's been a pretty amazing week and our thanks and congratulations to everyone who took part. And above all, to the four-time World's Strongest Man, Zadrina Saviskas. From all of us here, it's goodbye. <laughs>